Good morning. It's Thursday, April 5th, National Burrito Day. I'm regional editor Brian Sander with some stories you'll find in today's newspaper. The first week after his downtown Mazeppa business was destroyed by fire, WD's bar and grill owner Jason Ferguson said he had difficulty dragging himself out of bed. Ferguson said a huge part of his heart was gone. But now, three weeks removed from the blaze, Ferguson has begun to have hope. Reporter Matt Stoley has the story. Splashing beats swimming, or rather standing around in knee-deep water. That's the consensus in Wabasha, where the city, city is planning to replace its small baby pool with a splash pad. Now they just need to come up with $120,000. Brian Todd has the details. And the basketball season never ends for John Marshall's Matthew Hurt. The high school season had just uh, waned, and he's already working out on a, with a personal trainer. The 6'9 junior forward averaged 33.9 points. 15 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and 2 steals during the high school season, good enough to be named first team All-State for the second season in a row. Reporter Guy Limbeck catches up with the star forward. You can find all of that and the answer man in today's Post Bulletin.